This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Pavilion DV6-7010 US laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Pavilion DV6-7010 US laptop computer. Adjusting my camera. Uh, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure that the laptop is safe to work on. And in order to do that, we need to remove the battery. So to do that, we flip the laptop over. And there's a lever by the battery. We slide it to the right, lift up the battery, and the laptop is now safe to work on. While we're on the bottom of the computer, I'm going to show you how to find the model number for this laptop because it is important in the process, procedure, and the screen selection. So on the bottom, there's two barcodes, and between the barcodes, the middle line will have the model number. It says DV6-7010US, and that's where you find the model number. Also, for the new computer, there usually is a label on the palm rest that has the model number, but in this case, it doesn't have it. Okay, a few words before we start with this laptop computer. Um, the DV6 is a long-running series of HP laptop computer, and each time there's a revision, the procedure and sometimes the screen is different from before. So this is a revision that's called Dash 7. So DV6-7010 US. So the only number that's important is the first number after the dash. That's the 7. So if the first number after the dash is 7, this is the right video for you. If it's a different number other than 7, then we have videos on our YouTube channel for that particular laptop series. But this is for the DV6-7000. And it is important for this one because the procedure is different and the screen used is also different from the previous laptop models and they're not interchangeable. So let's get started. Uh, for this laptop or any other laptop computer, in order to get to the screen assembly, you need to remove the screen bezel and that's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove screws that are uh, securing the screen bezel to the screen. And for this laptop computer, it's tricky because the screws are hiding behind some grill covers. So we'll have to remove those first. So before we get there, we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use today. The first is a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. That's the screwdriver we use the most. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws, a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry things open, a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws, screws that may be stuck or manipulate any cables, and finally an X-Acto knife or a, or a hobby knife with a sharp pointed tip so we can remove the screw covers, or in this case, part of the plastic speaker covers so we can get into the, so we can get to the screws. So let's get started. Um, HP decided to be really tricky for this laptop computer, and they hid the screws behind this perforated strip, and that's usually meant for the speaker covers. So we lift up, being careful not to damage it, we lift away this perforated strip and we see a screw right away. So we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove this screw. That's one. And we do the same thing on the other side. So we lift up the speaker cover just, just enough so we can remove the screw. And we do that. And now, the, once we remove those screws, which I like to keep in separate piles for each step, that will help me keep track of which screws go where. Well, now that those removed, we can remove the we can remove the bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. 
And what I like to do for that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. Now there also be some adhesive and you gently lift up the adhesive as you go along. So work your way around the screen, up and out. If you get stuck at a place, keep going and come back to this place later on. So we do this. And the same thing on the bottom. We keep working the bezel off, like so. And gently remove the screen. So what I'm going to do, I suspect there may be another screw hiding in there, but we'll get to that later. So what I'm going to do is on the bottom, there's a seam between the plastic bezel and the back of the screen assembly. So I'm going to lift that up separate that like so I'm going to work the back of the seam like so and then flip the laptop over now, since I suspect there's another screw, I'm going to lift up this plastic grill cover and pull it back, like so. And we look for evidence of another screw. And we see it right there. There's one screw here. And there's another screw hiding here. So what we do is remove those two screws at the bottom and one and two. So HP made it really tricky this time to do it for us but if we know the tricks we can get it taken care of and we put the screws back now before I go any further if you find that this tape is not sticking to the back at the end or if it doesn't look quite the way you want it what you want to do is get some uh, rubber cement you can get it at any drugstore and just rubber cement and just brush the rubber cement on there and it'll stick just fine after that so just just to let you know so that the cosmetic condition condition looks okay now we peel the bezel back and gently lift the bezel out like so and finally we have access to the back of the screen now you notice that the speakers came out a little bit i just popped those back in but that's that. So um, this is the hardest part of the whole procedure. So after that, it's pretty easy. Uh, this particular type of screen is called a slim screen. And for this type of screen, you remove it by removing two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Normally, for most laptop screens, they're mounted on the side with some two metal mounting brackets, but not this one. There's two screws at the bottom and two screws at the top. So we use our electronics screwdriver, the PH1 screwdriver, to remove the two screws at the top, one and two, and then two screws at the bottom, one and two. Once we do that, the, we tilt the screen assembly forward and it should come out. There's some adhesive tape on the sides. We can remove this adhesive tape and save it for later. We'll just put it on the side. Try not to bend it and try to tilt it forward again. And it's coming forward and you see that the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen so we gently remove the webcam cable and put the screen down 
Now for this type of screen, there's only one connector at the bottom and I'll show you how to remove it. So first we remove the video cable and the webcam cable so it's not getting in the way. Lift it up from the back of the screen and then there's some adhesive tape on the bottom. So what we want to do is lift up this adhesive tape either with our fingertips, fingernails, or we can use a exacto knife to get us started. Lift up the corner and gently push the adhesive tape back. And for this type of screen there's also a bar that goes on the back of the connector so we can see it. Let me get a close-up show you what I'm talking about. There's a bar the little metal wire that goes around. Let's see if we can get a good focus. And that bar snaps in and then it snaps out. There we have a good focus. Once we snap the bar out, we can pull back the connector and the connector comes out. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When you push push the connector back in, you'll feel, but not here, two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Once you do that, you snap the bar back in place and the connection is good again. Okay, so we'll pull the bar back again and disconnect it. Now let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch slim LED screen. Um, the previous versions of the DV6 laptop computer use a standard 15.6 inch LED screen so be careful when ordering the screen because if unless you specifically say it's for this particular laptop model you might get the wrong screen so let's take a look at the part number that we're looking at the part number that you need to order is B156 XW04 B156 XW04 and that's the part number that you need. Okay, you can also buy this screen from us and what you get with us, we guarantee you that this will be the right screen for this laptop or we'll send you the right one at no extra charge. The toolkit that you saw me use in this video comes for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on the parts on the screen if anything goes bad with the screen. And we also have free email technical support. So if you have any trouble installing the screen, send us email and we'll help you along. And finally, we ship to um, all over the world. So if you're outside of the United States, most likely we can ship it to your country. So just follow the checkout procedure. Uh, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and we need you to type in the model number and your email address, and then we'll send you an email with the link to buy the right screen online, and then you just go through the normal checkout procedure. Okay, so once you do get the new screen in, uh, put the connector in, as I showed you, put the screen back on, and uh, put the screws back on and if you still have the tape left over put the tape where the uh, tape on the old screen was then snap the screen bezel back in and for that tape on top if it doesn't come on all the way you can use rubber cement that's the best way as I showed you to adhere it back on and it's the same type of adhesive as is used originally and then uh, Put the screws back in, two in the middle and two in the sides, and that's it, and you're good to go. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. 
And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.